Hi y'all, welcome back. This is session 10. We're going to be discussing about variational inference, okay? So this is one of those methods that we were discussing at the beginning that will help us to solve the issues when we cannot uh, work with tractable distributions, when we have those distributions that are more complex than the ones that we were uh, defining at the beginning. And they, they appear a lot in research and in, and in different, more uh, complex domains. So what we have, uh, our setup is as follows, okay? So let's say like we have some true distribution, sorry, P of X. Uh, normally these X can be latent variables, can be your, your true variables, uh, it doesn't matter. Uh, so this is like the true distribution, but it's really hard to, or, or intractable, okay? Um, And then we want to approximate this with some Q of C, uh, sorry, Q of X, for so have it. Um, that is just some some family, okay, some some distribution that comes from some some family that we defined. Um, we are going to be working a lot also with some uh, on normalized distributions, but. I don't think um, we will use it right now. I can introduce it later, but uh, just for sake of, of defining it, when we talk about this uh, P tilde here, uh, we're talking about some unnormalized distributions such that they are the, the tree distribution times uh, it, their normalization parameter such that uh, they are not normalized anymore, right? Because the, the normalization just drops there and this is uh, the joint between my my data and and the and the the variable that I'm I'm trying to work with. So this is the unnormalized normalized normalized. Okay. So before we dive in, I'm just want to make some uh, recap of our KL divergence. And if you remember. Um, we have two types of, of the KL. One when we want to go from P to Q and one from Q to P, and, and we call those the uh, the moment prediction and the information, sorry, the moment projection and the information projection. So, um, so the moment projection of, of, the K, of the KL is when we have this uh, distribution. When we want to go from the, this tree, true distribution and we want to do the expectation with respect of it. So we have this P of X uh, and the log of P star, sorry, X, QX, DX, right? And the information one That is the, or call like the re reverse KL because it goes on the other way, but actually it doesn't matter. Um, it is not uh, necessarily any, any idea, but we just call it that way, DX, okay? Uh, the whole idea of these, these two over here is that when we are working with, with them, for instance, in this case, the moment projection one, we also call it the zero avoiding for Q because what will happen is like if P is uh, greater than zero, we need Q to be also greater than zero because if Q is zero, then this just, it is not um, determined, right? So this should also be greater than zero. So in those uh, places in the distribution of P in which we have some density, some mass assigned to it, to the axis, then we need to force Q to also uh, have some information, right? Because the whole idea here is to, to have some, some distribution Q to be as close as possible as P. So what we will do is like, we will solve this by minimizing this, this divergence over here. So we are going to, we want to make this as small as, as small as possible, right? But this is really hard to solve because we need to sample or, or work through the expectation with respect of P star, but we don't have P star, right? I don't know what the, the true distribution is. Also, it is intractable, so 
I don't have an, a simple way to, to solve this. Um, if you want to still work with these, you can do something with sampling, for instance, that works. Uh, but normally we work with the information projection one or the reverse KL, because in this case, we work through the expectation of Q instead of the expectation of P star, which is much, much, much easier, right? And this also is called the zero forcing for Q, you know, because what will happen is that if uh, P is zero over here, then this will be um, undetermined, right? Because I don't have a way this, this will just jump to, to, to infinity here. So I need my Q to be zero to force it and to, to, to this be zero over here. And this is uh, really nice because still I can just minimize this thing over here and I will make P, uh, Q as, as close as, as one of the modes of, of Q. And another thing that you can see here, if we work with, with respect of the unnormalized one, and we work with the KL of these two things over here, the KL between Q and P unnormalized, this is just the KL Q of X of log of Q of X of P um, unnormalized, right? But this is P star, P star X Z DX, right? So what is this? I can just uh, do this over here and take my Z out, right? Through the log. And Z is constant with respect of this expectation. So. What I have here is the KL between QX and P star uh, X minus some log of Z. That means like if I work my KL with respect of the um, uh, unnormalized distribution, I'm going to be computing the the, the distance or like this is not the, sorry the, the divergence because KL is not a distance right the, the divergence between my Q and my true distribution up to some constant right because this log of C here it's a constant value so I can work with the unnormalized uh, version and as long as I am uh, minimizing this I'm going to minimize the the true one so we are still minimizing the the reverse one right so that is really really nice um okay so now as i was telling you what we're trying to find here is to try to um find a bound between these two things because um my kl it is uh this is then defined as the as, as, as a bound that I want to do because this this KL over here is going to be always positive, right? So it can go just from zero up to to, to some positive value, normally uh, one. And this means that I can have this bound. So I can have my KL Q P star minus log of Z. And this is going to be greater or equal to the minus log of Z, right? And this log of Z should be the log of PD, right? So by my minimizing uh, this over here, I'm going to uh, maximize my log likelihood of the data. So that is also really, really interesting, right? Uh, another way of seeing this is the following. So you can simply compute this KL. So this is one way. And you can compute this KL, for instance, uh, between Q and P bar, uh, P2, P tilde, the normalized one. And this is what? This is the expected uh, with respect of uh, the expectation with respect of Q, a log of QX minus the expectation with respect of Q of log P star of X. And this over here is the entropy, right? So this is my entropy, the negative entropy with respect of Q. And 
this is just the expectation of the log of p uh, star, right? Uh -huh. Respect of q. So this ends up as an as an energy over here. Sorry, like the negative one, right? So this is just is just an, a simple a simple energy that I that I'm using. Um, okay. Um, so this over here can also be expressed as follows. Uh, this is the expectation with respect of what? Of log of qx um, minus log of px times p uh, dx. Okay. And um, just let's remove the two because maybe it's faster to write. Uh, so this is the expectation with respect of Q. And I can just apply the log of in, in here too, right? So this is QX. Let me split it. Log of PX minus log of PDX. Okay, so and now I can just work these two together. And this is the, the KL. So this is my KL between Q, QX and my px um, minus the expected value of my data term, my posterior of p with respect of the given x. So now again, I'm I I am getting this value over here up to a constant, right? If I if I keep the the the, the tilde here, I just have this uh, constant value added to to it. So I have another way. Of, of working through it. So when you're trying to minimize these, these divergence, you can work the divergence with respect of the, of the true intractable variable. Or now in this case, if you see, I just did a, a, a different uh, expansion over here. So now I can just simply compute the KL within my prior. So this is much, much nicer because I can assume some, some particular prior with respect of this data that I don't, I don't, I don't have a way of, of, of modeling. And then I just need to, um, if I'm minimizing this, maximizing this uh, likelihood, right? The likelihood of my data given the, uh, given this X variable over here. And for instance, this is what we do normally when we're working with these uh, inference problems. And the, the variational inference is basically just do some KL with respect to prior, maybe a Gaussian over here. And then you just want to maximize the likelihood of the data given your model. So for instance, you have a gang, you do this all the time. Um, there is a, another nice optimization that we use and we just borrow it from the physicists that is called the mean field one, the mean field approximation. And it's really useful uh, because it lets you to assume that everything is independent. So you want to take this QX over here and assume that it has some uh, factor form. So I equal to one up to D, this multiplication. Then you have a set of QIs um, such that each dimension has some, some different uh, distribution. So that will let you um, model your, your whole problem in a, in a much, much simpler way. Okay. And still, you, you are still interested in solving some minimization problem. You want to minimize uh, the, the family of the QI such that the KL between Q and P, uh, it, is, it is the minimum one. Okay. And what you will have over here is that the log of this um, Q I or Q J of X, it's um, the expected value with respect of all the other ones. Sorry, this Q is uh, Q of not I over here. Um, time the log of 
the either the normalized or normalized plus some constant okay so this is very similar to what we were doing with the with the Dirichlet the other time in, in, in the previous lecture in which you want to factor out so each of those dimensions just uh, is the expected value with respect of all the other ones okay um, so you can solve these and um, for instance you can say that to, to arrive to these, this particular solution it comes from that the maximization of these uh, of these uh, divergence of this KL between Q and P on normalize should be uh, less or equal to the likelihood of the data, right? And if we call just this uh, LQ over here, what, I'm want, what I want to do is to compute this uh, piece LQ to, to understand what is happening. So this is going to be my LQ with respect to one of those. I, I, I'm going to focus on this QI. And this is the summation with respect of the x times the multiplication of my mean field approximation of qi for every x times this uh, logarithm logarithm of p minus the summation of k logarithm of all the other ones it's k right so i'm just uh, applying the definition of the KL using some uh, discrete version, right? Instead of using the, the continuous one, because it will make uh, things much, much simpler uh, in the following operations, because to derive these, you will see that we will need to, to take those out. And if we are working with the with the integral, it, it makes it get a little bit complicated. So hopefully working with this uh, discrete case is much simpler. So my intention is to try to isolate one of those uh, k's and one of those i's. So in particular, the qi that, that we are using. So this should be the following, the summation with respect of um, xi and the summation which we respect of all the other ones that are not that xi. And the same thing, qi, uh, xi and then the multiplication here I'm going to just take this out and then I'm going to multiply all the ones that are not i right so uh, let's call it i not uh, different from j so I'm going to take all my qj xj over here and log of px minus the summation of all the k's different from j QK is K plus the log of Q, J, X, J. So I'm just kind of taking it out, you see? I'm taking this Q out and then I'm taking this Q out over here. So it will help me to, to move it out, okay? So if we continue this, uh, let me put it over here. I don't know if you can still see it. Um, just to continue this computation over here. Okay. So I will have my, this is equal to what? This should be the summation of my uh, xi. And I want to uh, still have it right in here. So this should be my qi xi. And the summation of, I'm just going to take these out of here, right? The summation of these ones that are not the one that I'm interested in times the multiplication of all the ones that are not that one. And Q, J, X, J, uh, log of P, X minus and again, the same thing, right? I'm going to take this one. And then the rest of the ones that I'm not interested in. 
and taking those over here and then the summation of the ones uh, sorry the the multiplication right because I have this multiplication of the ones that are not the one that I'm interested in and um, Q J X J times this uh, difference over here right summation of all the other ones oh sorry this should be a log right so this is a, there is a log over there because this is a log too summation of the logs of qk xk so this is also different from i uh, plus log of qi xi right now um i'm just going to try to uh make these as small as possible so i'm going to take all of these i'm just going to call it log of fi of x i and this is if you see it's just the expected value with respect of all the other queues right so it's the expected value with respect of all the queues that are not i of this logarithm over here of the logarithm of p of x bar right so i'm just taking from my mean field approximation i'm just taking this um this distribution over here and I'm just taking QI that the one that I'm interested in and taking the rest and using that multiplication to define a distribution and that distribution is going to be the one that I'm going to use to compute this, this expectation over here and now what I'm going to do is uh, use that to rewrite this in a simpler way so this is my XI uh, QI XI uh, log of FI Xi, right so I have these minus the summation of my Xi of QI Xi times and now um, if you see over here my uh, Q Xi okay summation of all the G's that are different from Uh, J. Okay, sorry. I'm using like I'm to me. Okay, I'm really dumb. I got confused with these these other notation. I'm using these for the pies, but not for the x the summation. So, but you get my point, right? Like this summation is running through all the x i's that are not uh, over here. So, x i, the the ones that are not over there, and um, the multiplication of all the i different from J um, Q I X I right and uh, sorry Q J X J and these multiplied by the log of Q I X I and I want to uh, put all these over here into a constant just to because I don't I don't care I don't care about these these other things. So we, we can just simply uh, push it this in, into a constant with respect of the thing that we care. And we and for instance when we do the derivatives, they just don't matter, right? So we can just do it up to a constant. And now the thing is, uh, this um, distributions over here are constant with respect of this one, right? So this expectation in here. It doesn't matter, so I can just take these outside of, of that expectation. So what I will end up with is that I'm defining here now a KL between this log of FI and my QI, right? Because I have this log of QI too. So I basically remove this over here and I end up with the shape of the KL. So this is just a negative KL. So this is the KL between what? My QI and my FI that I just defined over here, plus a constant 
that uh, encompasses all the cues that I'm, I'm, I'm removing. So what I'm seeing over here is the following, that my um, problem that I had at the beginning, this uh, maximum, the maximization of the KL between QI and, and FI, then has a solution if my QI is equal to the FI, right? When both of them are equal, then uh, I, I found this, uh, this minimum, right? And that happens if my logs are also, if that happens, my logs also are equal, right? So log of FI. So if both logs are equal, that means like this QI is equal to this over here. So the exponential of this is the exponential of that. And then QI is the exponential of this. And that will be the QI, XI, is equal to one over Z I, the exponential of the expected with respect of Q that are not I and the log of P bar X. And that's nice, right? Like this is just a, a normalization constant over here. But this is the mean field approximation that, that, that we normally use. And this will allow us to, to, to solve and work with more complex distributions just by assuming that um, future-wise, we have this simple distribution that, that will hold. And then we just solve it through uh, working each of those coordinates one at a time. So we will continue with the discussion of, of this variational inference in the, in the following sections, okay?